again. So sorry, we're having technical difficulties here today, probably because I'm not on my game today. I'm not feeling 100%, so it's probably all on me. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Well, we'll give you a squeaky, and now you'll feel better, okay? Okay. So we want to say good morning to everyone that's watching. And Chet's going to carry the majority of the show today because, like I said, I'm... Good morning to you all. Whether you're out there driving to work, driving to the pumpkin patch, no matter where you're going today. The pumpkin patch, we're... it's not even involved. Well, it doesn't matter. You can still go to a pumpkin patch, mm -hmm. I guess. I guess there'd be no pumpkins <laughs> this time of year, though, would there? They're going to go look and see anyway. They, they're waiting for the great pumpkin to come. Since he wasn't here in October, they're thinking, you know what? He tricked us. He's going to come in February this year. You think? Yeah, that's it. So, hey, good morning to everybody out there in the YouTube world here on Sea Lake Journeys. It's time to rise and shine. So, hey, let's step off with our first uh, person that came in this morning, the Gaylors. Good morning to you, John. And John's been in here going crazy over mm -hmm. here in the chat, putting everybody's link in. Thank you for that, John. You are awesome. And, and the crowd goes, wow. <laughs> And Lori Barber was the next one that came in. She says, you know, her husband, he only gets a bit occasionally, but she's like the bug magnet. Yeah, because we're talking about bug spray and suntan lotion today. So the thing is that is there are there really some people that are bug magnets and some people that are not? That's true. It's really true. She's a bug magnet uh -huh. and I ain't. And do you know that most of the time you're a bug magnet based on your blood type? I think it's based on your smell. Women like wearing and, good yes. smelly little stuff. And, you know, guys, we like smelling like an armpit. And if you're a mosquito, which one are you going to pick? You're going to pick the sweet, flowery, smelly little girl, or are you going to pick the armpit smelling dude? No, that's not even. First of all, it is true about the makeup has smell and perfume has smell and hairspray has smell. That's true. Mm -hmm. But you guys stink, too. I've seen plenty of gnats. Nats, Riding around guys. Nats don't bother us though. It's no. a, it's those mosquitoes you don't want biting you. So yes, it is a lot. Of, it is based on your blood type as well. That mm -hmm. some blood is sweeter to bugs than other blood types. So and I learned that. I was like, when I first heard that, I was like, this is a bunch of hogwash. But then I saw the research on it, and it really is. It really is based on your blood type. So if you're one of the ones that get eat up, no matter what, you've got no perfume, no makeup. You don't have an you have an armpit smell or you don't have an armpit smell, whichever the case may be, you may get eat up by bugs more than other people based on the type of blood you have. Or what state you live in. <laughs> <laughs> we live in Florida, so there's a few mosquitoes out here. Well, let's see who's in the chat. Oh, we well, got a lot of The Gaylords was here. Um Lori Barber was here. Lori Barber, good morning to you, Lori. Um, I'm gonna give you a squeaky this morning. Oh, he, uh, she says, my brother says his neighbors love it when he uses the propane tank bug remover because it keeps their yard free of mosquitoes. Oh, okay. How about that? How about that? And the gators say we would go camping in the middle of the day when nothing was out and they would bite. He would find black flies. Hey, them oh, flies yeah, yeah. will bite you too mm -hmm. now. Oh, yeah, yeah, they bite hard. Yes, they they bite, we call them horse flies here in Florida. Yeah, horse flies are bad. And good morning to Law Jones. Law Br Jones brings us the quote of the day. I believe the world is incomprehensibly beautiful, an endless prospect of magic and wonder. And that's from Ansel Adams. Wow, uh, what a great Yes, quote. he also had two quotes for us today. Yes, that's I think right. What, I think that one was for you. Yeah. This next one is for me. It is. Your, it is. <laughs> your faith can move mountains, but your doubt can create them author unknown but i'll tell you what that is so true your faith moves up mountains but sometimes your doubt builds another mountain up and you got to get your faith on to get that mountain out of the way so that you can go see that beautiful world that ansel adams is talking about so chet always has more faith than i do I, i'm the doubter i doubt i, I believe things are going to happen for him i have or even you i have total belief and faith that's going to happen for him and happen for you but yeah not so much for me it's going to happen <laughs> for you too I've, I've showed her a million times how it does and she still don't no, because of the million time examples you show me, those all those examples are us together, which means that it was you. I just kind of got the uh, overflow. We're always of it. together. We're together. <laughs> We're together, Nugget. And good morning to the Baminola. They are at the airport. You know why Baminola is at the airport today? That's right. You're heading for a cruise ship, Baminola. Take that squeaky sound with you, brother, and there have fun go. on that cruise. Mm -hmm. Ow! And the gailers say, I don't mind mountains unless I have to climb them. Yeah, that's, well, that's the, the thing about a mountain. <laughs> gotta get that faith and move that mountain. 
Uh, Law Jones says, congratulations, Bama. The vacation begins. Woo! Let that yep. vacation begin. I hate, I hope you took your suntan lotion and your bug spray with you, Bama. You got advice here from Sea Lake Journeys. Mm. There you go. And good morning to the avid fisherman. Now talk yeah. about somebody that that's about bugs and flies. You know what? I've heard that those horse flies make really good bait for fly fishing. Yeah, Abbott, have you ever used flies for fishing? Well, that's fly fishing, though. I don't know if he does fly fishing. But the point Let is, bugs that we're talking about could be beneficial to him because, you know, I've seen even the little ponds in Florida where the mosquitoes are hovering above the water. Oh, the you can literally eat, see the fish yeah. jump up out of the water yeah. to eat the bugs. Yeah, if you see a lot of bugs floating around the water, you know there's some fish fixing to come on up in there. Mm -hmm. That's how we know where to fish at. Here you go. Uh, Avid Fisherman says, I have four rechargeable bug repellents. Hey, them, that's another type of bug repellent yes. that I didn't even include in today's topic. Thank you for that, Avid Fisherman. The yeah. rechargeable kind, you, you power you them have? bad boys up. I've got the one that we use. It's uh, off family care, smooth and dry. Now, sometimes, though, if we're going off somewhere like the state parks or something, we go get that um, the uh, uh, woodsman. Yeah, the woodsman. But, yeah, the deep, mm -hmm. deep woods off. Deep woods off. But this is the one we use if we have a few bugs around here because it goes on dry and it don't make you. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, we Avon has, um, I forget what that product is that Avon has. That's really good as a bug repellent too. But it goes on, it feels wet. This, you spray it and it goes on dry. Well, that's what we used in the Marine Corps. When I was at Paris Island, we learned about Skin So Soft skin from so Avon. Soft, that's what it is. Yes, yes, I did have my note on that right here. Mm -hmm. And that was the, that's what we used because we had those sand fleas and or chiggers and things like mm -hmm. that up there we had to deal with just as as much as mosquitoes and that off, excuse me, skin so soft by Avon really did the trick. Well, and that's because it's uh, oily on your skin or wet mm -hmm. on your skin and they can't, you know, they don't stick to you, you know? Yeah. Um, here's the Gaylords. Gaylords say, it's funny. I was watching the security cameras on my house as a car maneuvered to park. She ended up half in front of my driveway, oh. no other cars around, space to park 10 cars and still, Blocks my driveway. <laughs> so, my goodness, I don't know what people are doing. And so, Abbott Swishman says, solve the problem. Call tow truck. <laughs> That's great. You know, the stuff that happens here in our morning chats, we talk about all kinds of stuff. That You know, that's just a great story watching somebody. Oh, look at all that room out there. And they still block my driveway. I know, right? What you going to do? Oh, and then Abbott has another solution. I have a yellow paint marker you could use to write on her window. No parking here. <laughs> <laughs> no squeaky for Abbott. Lori Barber is here with us today, but she's on the phone. So she's not real active in the chat, but she is here with us all. And good morning to Eddie Lugo. Yo, 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 Eddie Lugo Studios. Went and got his cardiac therapy yesterday. So he, I know he's feeling good today, getting ready for the Raid Parade. Mm -hmm. Raid Parade's coming on this afternoon, y'all. So be sure to jump in there and watch that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eddie has the show at the end of the Raid Parade, right. the post show. So make sure you go check that out too. Hey, and Eddie, if you want to put the link in there for all that Raid Parade and your show, please do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And good morning to the Fearless Rambler. Good morning, George, at the Fearless Rambler. <laughs> <laughs> he's had ducks all over his hats i've been checking out your so your pages there and your videos and ducks everywhere and good morning to our newest member our newest member this morning cruising for one how about that good morning to you jeffrey so hey, i man. added your links into our um our, our end screen all right well what do you call i it? added his links into mm -hmm. our template that when we upload videos, he's now part of that. Yeah. So as his YouTube channel, Cruising for One, as well as his website. Uh, for the blogs. For the blogs. Yes. yes. So you'll see that starting to appear because I uploaded it into the template. And he has special stuff. Uh, he, he, he puts it up there for people who cruise solo. Mm -hmm. But I have found his tips to be just as beneficial <clears throat> to those who cruise as couples or families mm -hmm. as well. So be sure and check those out. Very well written. Much better written than I could do, that's for mm -hmm. sure. And the Gaylor say, I put the live on the big screen and type chat on the computer. Oh, you're talking about it's great. using yeah. their phone on the cruise ship. Yeah, being but, able to yeah. see. To see everything. She, I told Lori, we got mm -hmm. a 32-inch monitor. She goes, well, I got a 52-inch TV screen. I said, there you well, go. don't put us on that. We'll scare you. 52-inch <laughs> Sea Lake journeys. That might be too much for anybody to handle in the morning time. <laughs> and good morning to cruising is fun anytime. Good morning to you, Cheryl. 
hey, everyone have a great weekend. Uh, that's what cruising is fun anytime. It's telling y'all today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to listen to that advice. And good morning to the Bone Tire Travelers. They say good morning, y'all. Yawn. <laughs> She's trying to say y'all, but she yawned right in the middle of it. Elaine Hager is here this morning. Good morning to you. She says good morning to y'all listening while driving home from my post-op visit. I hope okay. everyone has a great day. Hey, we you hope everything well. went great for you, Elaine. And you're going to be a hundred percent. Everything so, went great. Let's talk about the sunscreen you got over there. He's got sunscreen. a whole bunch of sunscreens over here. Well, I got four sunscreens and that's because we break them up into body and face. Yes. We separate them for us. I don't know if you do that way. You, your nice, pretty face don't get all broke out from those other bug screens. You know what I mean? <laughs> bug screens from the other bugs. Bug sprays, <laughs> sunscreen, what sunscreens. What are we talking about? We're, People, talking about sunscreens. we're talking about sunscreens. Okay. So, <laughs> Anyway, here's the two ones we always used for many years. It's a good old Copper Tone number 50 spray. We I like the spray. The spray goes on dry, and it's fast, and it's mm -hmm. easy, and you can hit all those good spots. Yeah. And number 50, because when we're going out in the sun, I'm probably going to be out there for a while. And that's for the body. And you got to remember that you have to read the label. If it says reapply every three hours, you need to reapply every three hours. If it says reapply every after minutes. you get wet or whatever, because yeah. some will say after you've gotten into the pool, reapply once you get out again. You really need to read the label and see what it suggests for you to reapply. Because that's what most people don't do. They don't reapply. Yeah, we run into a lot of people that aren't from down here where we're at, up north and stuff. And they put it on once in the morning, and then later you see them at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, they look like lobsters. Yeah. And we're like, hey, wow, you should have got some uh, suntan lotion or some sunscreen. And they're like, well, we put it on this morning. I go, did you reapply it? Mm -hmm. and they're like, no. <laughs> we didn't know we were supposed to. And another thing, especially about this one here, is it, and this is the Copper Tone Sport 50, it says it stays on even when you sweat. Because sometimes mm -hmm. sweat will get rid of the sunscreen quicker than just being wet. Yes. Especially if you sweat a lot. If you're going to do something active, you're going on a shore excursion, or you're going to be doing some walking and stuff, you're going to be sweating down there in the mm -hmm. Caribbean. And you're going to want something that, like she says, is sweat proof. Woo! And that's, that's, this is good stuff. If you want to know what the good stuff is, we're going to, we're going to show you what we use. And because... I've had enough skin cancer that I don't want no more. And so I use this mm -hmm. stuff. And I'm going to tell you a trick to spraying the kids with spray sunscreen. Okay. Because I see so many children, the little um, part in their hair oh. gets sunburned. Yeah. You yeah. can, what I, what we tell, what we do with our children, and our grandchildren is take a washcloth and cover your face with the washcloth, you know, both of your hands and spray the tops of their little heads and the back of their neck and the tops of their little ears, because that's delicate mm -hmm. skin. And people forget that that part on the top of your head can get really, really sunburned. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know it. You got to make sure you cover that up on them youngins. So let's say a good morning to a couple more people in the chat let's before do we talk about the sunscreen you have in your hand. Let's do it. Good morning to Party of Two Cruising. Party of Two Cruising. Good and morning. And good morning to On the Deck with CB. On Deck with CB. Good morning. <laughs> we'll give you all squeaky. Have they been in our chat before? I, I'm not for sure. I'm for not sure. for sure either. So let's everybody get out the party and let's welcome On Deck with CB because I'm not sure if they're new in our chat or not. Well, I know I'm not new to them because I went and subscribed to their channel yesterday and they had six 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 subscribers and i'm like oh nobody oh, likes to see no. that so i was number 667 all right i had to get them off of that six 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 so, i'm just morning. not sure if we've ever seen them in a chat we before. see them in chats but not ours i not think ours, first time yes. here at sea lake journey so guess what we do we right. see someone new so let's get the party out and everyone welcome on deck with cb to the chat hey <laughs> welcome cb <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, you guys. So nice to have you with us this morning. Yep. Um, so uh, before we uh, get to that, um, let's see. Oh, we have the beautiful Keisha's with us this morning. Keisha. One she of my said, favorite girls. Oh, you know it. Definitely. I love this. Yeah, yeah, I love Keisha. I want to meet her in person one day. Maybe she'll come on our group cruise. She is so fabulous. I just love her. Every time I see her smile, it makes me smile. Me too. Even when I'm not feeling good, I'm just, I need to get Keisha's smile out so I can smile. And Keisha says, make it a fabulous Friday out there, everybody. Mm, we're mm, going to do that. Just that. We're going to try anyway. You know it. Um, let's see. Who else you got there? 
um, everyone's just pretty much saying hello to each other. Um, here's the Gaylords. Uh, in Florida, you have to worry about the bugs carrying you away. Ain't that the truth? We live in Florida you our whole life. know life. it. A cockroach here will carry you away. <laughs> a cockroach gets under your foot, a mosquito grabs hold top of your head, the sand fleas get under your armpits, and next thing you know, you're across the street. I think it's so funny to see people <laughs> that have never come to Florida before in their first encounter with a palmetto bug, because a palmetto bug is not a typical roach. They like to fly. They fly. And they're probably, I don't know, three or four inches long. And they have a wingspan of like six inches. <laughs> and you can hear them in that. It sounds like a little, you know, tornado or something. Coming oh, up. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't bite, but man, it will just land on your face and, and they freak stink. you out. Oh, and if you ever vacuum them up in your vacuum cleaner, your vacuum cleaner will have this tremendous smell forever. Oh, yeah, yeah. And good morning to Destination Fun. Good morning, Destination Fun. We got to hang out with them last night with their show with Chancellor Travels. Mm -hmm. Woo, what a good time they had at 6 p.m. last night. And good morning to Antoinette at Fun. Antoinette, good morning to you. And um, so uh, Alice says that uh, Alice is all about, this. Alice is an Avon rep. So if you need some skin so soft, contact Eddie Lugo and Alice will be more than glad to see you That's somewhere. right. Let me tell you what. Skin um, So Soft by Avon. Get a hold of Eddie to get a hold of Alice to get you some of that. To get a hold of Eddie to get a hold of Alice. <laughs> I think Eddie knows exactly how to get a hold of uh, I think Eddie knows exactly how to get a hold of Alice. Um, here's party of two cruising. I stay out here in the ocean. No bugs out here. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a good thing. Um, we want to remind everyone too that, you know, we do have memberships to our channel and you've heard us say about watching the commercials to help support us. We appreciate all of your support. And we told you that what we were going to do with the money that we make from YouTube is we are going to invest in making our YouTube channel better better so we've only been monetized for a few months and this is our first um item that we've purchased to make our youtube better and it is a phone gimbal it's a dj dji om5 it's a gimbal for your phone right so um i'm gonna learn how to use this mm -hmm. um so this is our third piece of camera equipment That's now right. um and the next piece of equipment we're going to buy our lapel mics so um, we just want to we just want to thank you all for supporting our channel, and we're doing our very best to make sure that our channel improves and grows based upon your support. I'm just being careful. We don't earn so much that they replace me with someone that better. <laughs> I'm the one that would be replaced. I'm the one that's never here. Um, so let's see. Um, here's on deck with CB. I feel like the bracelets do not work repelling mosquitoes. So they I don't. have tried those as well. I personally don't think they do, but I think that goes back to my blood type. My blood type loves bugs. Just saying. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, you got to get some real bug spray up in there, especially if you're down here. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's Elisa's Adventures in Cruising. Yes. Happy Friday, everybody. She says, happy Friday to you, Elisa. And guess what? Yes. That's, that's right. The, the crowd, crowd goes, goes wild. wild. <laughs> and um, Cruising for One is thanking us for um, putting him in our links. So if you are a member yep. to our channel, no matter what, at this point, no matter what level of a member you are, we give shout outs to your channel. Yeah. We put active links, active links in the comments of our video, in the description of our video, not just your name. It's an actual link they click on and they'll go directly to your channel. Yeah. So if you want to find Cruising for One or the Fearless Rambler, or anybody, we have them on our channel in the yes. links. You Any just, of our members. Now, yep. if you if you are an individual person and you support us, because we do have some individual people, their name is there, just not an, an active link for them. Right. Uh, so let's see. What do we got today? What oh, else you know what? About that? Now we talk about the body spray. This one was one for the face. And I use uh, Neutrogena because it's clear face. It keeps your face from breaking out. Yes. You don't want your pores clogged up. You don't want to get, you know, a big old zit on the side of your face right before it's formal night. And you want your picture took out there while you're all dressed up. So I have something to say about this. There's a lot of women that want to wear makeup when they go outside. And if your makeup has sunscreen in it, that's fine. But if your makeup does not have sunscreen on it, you can use sunscreen for your face like a base for your makeup mm. and i do both because my makeup does have sunscreen in it but i also use regular sunscreen on my face because my face is going to sweat 
and I had makeup on and we were in mm -hmm. St. Martin and somebody's talking about the sweat that I had a nice glow on our members only video. And it wasn't <laughs> a nice glow. It was sweat. Okay. Well, see, this one says it won't cause breakouts. It's ultra light, oil free, water resistant up to 80 minutes and number one dermatologist recommended. How about yes. that? SPF 55. Can't go wrong there. Protect your is, face. Right. This is actually the sunscreen that Chet's dermatologist did um, told suggest, me to go get. Told him yeah. to go get. Yes. And then there's another one too by Neutrogena, and it's the Ultra Sheer. Well, that's what I'm getting to next. These two, you're going to think, well, they're the same thing. This is generic copper tone. It's just like the spray, but it's in lotion. And this is Neutrogena 55, same as that one. So what's the difference? Why do we have these? You ask. Mm -hmm. Because this is reef friendly. Yes. Reef friendly. Some places you go now, some of the ports tell you if you're going to go swimming or snorkeling here or anything like that, you got to have the reef friendly. So those are not reef friendly. The first two I showed you, right. cause that's what we've used for years, but then we went and got the reef friendly ones. So when and we you, go in the Caribbean, we take these now. Right. So if you go to the secret river in Cozumel, you are going to need reef friendly sunscreen. Well, they're going to make you wash um, it off before you get in that. Oh, that's true. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. But what makes it reef friendly and what makes it not reef friendly? But just think about when we have oil spills from ocean liners, that oil is not reef friendly and it's um, destructive to the um, sea life. That's the same way with sunscreen. It's the ingredients in it that are not healthy for the sea life. Yeah, I, I wrote down what they was over here. It's the oxy oxybenazone mm -hmm. is one of them, and there's another one. So if you see these ingredients, I, I, I'll tell you what they are here real quick. And I'll say uh, I'll say what's going on in the chat while you do that, or yes. you got it right there. It's right here. Okay. Yeah. So if they have oxybenzone or oxy, excuse me, octanoxate. They have one of those two chemicals, which these two have those. Now They're not people that are what listening. I, I know. These are not reef friendly. These are the first two we showed you. I know you can't see if you're driving, but the first two, I don't know how else to say it. They are, if you have those chemicals in them, you can't use those in the reef places, the place with the reefs. Right. You have to get these kind here, the ultra sheer with uh, minerals. They have minerals that right. replace those chemicals. Mm. Did I say that right? Yes. And remember that bug spray is also, there are also reef friendly types of bug sprays, not just sunscreens. Um, so, but the sunscreen is typically what you use when you get in the water, but some people have sprayed bug spray on their kids' feet um, up there on the, on the shore. So um, just read the labels, make sure that you know how often you're supposed to apply it and whether or not it is reef friendly. And yes. Eddie has put up the link for today's raid parade right. and so today's raid parade as well as the after party that eddie lugo host we are in the raid parade i think our video is at like 219 or something 219 like is eastern is, standard time of course that's when you'll see the sea lake journeys video is mm -hmm. and i forgot what it was i uh, think it's saint martin saint martin yes the port of saint martin mm -hmm. that's right so if you want to go to saint martin today at 219 be over there to the raid parade <laughs> And good morning to Together We Travel. Hello, hello, Together We Travel. Yes, and I apologize for anyone that's just now coming in and I don't seem to be my normal self. I'm just not feeling 100% today. Look for the reef friendly on the label. They've helped make it easier for you because I thought, I'm not going to remember what those two chemicals mm -hmm. are and make sure they're not in it. So just look for a label to say reef friendly on it and get that stuff just to be safe mm -hmm. if you're coming down to the Caribbean. Okay. And welcome in to Jack in the shop. Jack in the shop. Hey, I've never seen them before. And that's a new one too, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Good morning. Oh, no, they've been in there. They've been in there. Oh, they've been in there. Yeah. Oh, but I'll, you can give them a squeaky I'll give them anyway. a squeaky anyway. How about that? And here's what On Deck with CB says. I use Neutrogena. I have to fight with Adam to apply some. <laughs> What? So that's the thing, you know, a lot of people <laughs> love a gorgeous tan, right? Well, we come from a generation where we put baby oil and iodine on ourselves when we laid out. Well, that was like putting yourself in a frying pan and so, and so, um, melanoma cancer has been proof of that. So, and let me tell you what, when mm. you get older, this goes for the older people, 
older people and babies, you you can literally feel your skin cooking, but a child isn't going to tell you that they feel their skin cooking. Nope. They're just going to say, I'm hot, I'm hot. If your kids are complaining that they're hot, they're hot, it may not just be a temperature hot. It may be that they feel their skin cooking. literally cooking in the sun. And I see so many mm -hmm. people don't put sunscreen on their children. And this is another thing. You need to apply the sunscreen 30 minutes prior to being out in the exposure. Yeah, so while you're in the cabin, go ahead and slop it all over that kid before you leave the cabin. And that way, when you walk out to your port that you're visiting or out on the deck to hang out mm -hmm. by the pool, it's already had time to settle into their skin. And another thing that I see a lot of people fail to do is they have their bathing suit on and they're spraying the suntan or they're putting the suntan out on themselves. You need to take your strap, pull your strap down, make sure that the sunscreen is also where your strap is at because as you move, that strap moves and you can that white skin there that didn't have any protection can get very burnt. So it's always better. Well, this is what we do. We're in the cabin, literally no shirt on, sunscreen all over, let it dry, and then we put the bathing suit on. Um, and the crowd goes wild. Uh, and it, together we travel. I did not know this. Join me in wishing Keisha a happy anniversary. Okay, happy anniversary so to Keisha get the and her party, husband. Get the party out, everybody. Let's do it. Come on, we we're going to go. We're going to sing the happy anniversary. That's right. Happy anniversary. Okay, ready? Yep. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 and the Cruise Nuts are joining us from Facebook. Good morning to you, Cruise Nuts. Hey, don't forget, y'all. They says they wear a lot of SPF hats and shirts. Brother, yes. I do too. I went and got me some of them SPF shirts, and they are good. Yes, and so another thing that I just thought about, because I see that our moderators are putting links up in the chat. Yes. If you ever come into our chat and you would like for our moderators to put your link up, all you have to do is type in hashtag SLJ in capital letters. It's kind of like secret code to the moderators that they would be more than glad to share your link. And let's remind everybody, we got that group cruise coming up and the cruise nuts are, have joined us. They're going to be coming with us now. Along oh, with Ocean yes. to Ocean, TNT's Adventures to Sea, and some other people. Mm -hmm. There's some other people coming too. That's right. And so cruising for one, he says that, you know what? Here's get sunburned. Oops. His ears get sunburned. Oh, I just got one burned off there mm -hmm. uh, a couple days ago. Yes, Chet has that as well. Um, and so while we're talking about our group cruise, let's throw up the video about our group cruise. And this is, I'm going to change the video this weekend. So here we go. Okay, let's do it. Here it comes. It's the group cruise, y'all, with Sea Lake Journeys, TNT's Adventures to Sea. Woo, you're going to love it. Come on and join us. We're going to be on the Norwegian Breakaway. It's going to be so fun. That's right. We're it's going to be, be May the 19th through May the 26th, 2024, leaving out of Miami. That's right. And we're going to head to Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. And from there, go to St. Thomas and then Tortola and the Virgin Islands. And don't forget, we're going to that NCL's private island, Great Stir of K. And TNT has set up a Facebook group page for us with all of the activities and events. And you don't want to miss this. We are going to have a blast. You know to it. book this cruise, all you have to do is contact Ocean to Ocean Travel. That's right. Call Bruce Ocean to Ocean today. Send him an email. Send him a fax, a telegram. A get out there with a smoke signal. <laughs> do what you got to do to get Bruce to hook you up with this group cruise. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> and Bruce has got some great options for you. So when you book the cruise with um, Bruce, he's going to ask you which free options would you like? That's right. And there's everything from free internet to free drink package to onboard shipboard credit. Yes. Um, he's got some fabulous uh, freebies set up for us. We are organizing a meet and greet room That's on right. a sea day. So we're going to get together in a room and we're going to have our own little gig. Our Play own a little... couple games, do yes. something fun. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So you've got plenty of time now to budget for it. And I think it's, uh, how much is a down payment per uh, well, person? Well, I don't know if it's still in effect, but it was 250 bucks. It was $125 per person. 
or for a cabin, if you got two people, right. that'd be two hundred fifty dollars. Okay. So if you want to go on the group cruise with us, just so you know, this is not a quote unquote vlogger cruise. This is a group cruise. Everybody getting together, having a great time. There are some people that are going to be on the cruise that are not vloggers in our group that are not vloggers, and some are vloggers. So we're so going to have a good time. We are anyway. going to have a blast, yes. and here we go. And uh, on deck with CB says, we found you for the first time yesterday. Oh, so they, it. they are first new, first time new in our chat. Yeah, I've seen them over so, other chats, other places. And then I stalked them and they stalked us. Or we got together anyway, didn't okay. we? Okay. <laughs> so um, on deck with CB, uh, if we, uh, as we grow, we do this Saturday stroll, which is a back-to-back -back kickoff of other video, con of other videos by other content creators. Yes. We're always looking for guests uh, to be on the show. This week, our guest is Ocean to Ocean. Mm -hmm. But if anyone would like to be a guest on our Saturday show, just email us at journeys at gmail.com or message us through Facebook. I'm um, translating. Yes, right. And here, here we go. Uh, Lisa's Adventures and Cruising says, "Good job on that number six six seven. Yes, exactly. Right. <laughs> we couldn't leave nobody hanging on no, that. No, we could not. Lori says, "Darn palmetto bugs." <laughs> <laughs> uh, on deck says, "We appreciate you." I told that six 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 was giving me omen vibes. <laughs> yeah, that's what he commented back to me. Yeah. Lisa says, "Palmetto bugs have caused many heart attacks." Yes, yep. they have. Heart mm -hmm. attacks, strokes, and broken legs. There you go. <laughs> well, we're having a great time here this here, morning. we got to get through this uh, chat. I retired, Chet. Happy Saturday today. Woo! Tomorrow. What? You retired? There you go. Crazy for one says, I love my gimbal. I have the older one. Okay, yeah, she's got a pretty new one. Uh, Jack in the shop says, I love DJI. I have Phantom 3 and the Phantom 4 drones. Oh, how about that? Mm -hmm. On deck says, we have a gimbal work well until we got the action. At the time, my gimbal picks it up and records what the action is capturing. Oh, wow. Isn't that fun? Yes. Uh, Cruising for One says, I love that sun bum face mist sunscreen. Yes. There you go. And sunscreen with iron oxide is good, too. You don't get the zombie look. There you go. I like, oh, oh, I was reading sorry. The rest of it. I like Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer SPF 45. 45. There you go. go. You're getting some good tips here, mm -hmm. y'all. Check out what these people are telling you on suntan lotion. Alisa says, great tip on the reef-friendly products. Yes. Yes, ma'am. And good morning to the Moonlight Adventures. Good morning from New Jersey. Getting ready to head back home. Mm -hmm. That's right, Josh. Get on back home, brother. On deck with CB says, I normally apply it while in the cabin. Yep. That is the time to do it, That is the time to do it. Great Absolutely. advice right there. Get it on in that cabin um, before you go outside. <laughs> Elisa says, and that crowd goes wild. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. And there are links flying through the chat. I just love, I love the link sharing. I really do. Never think that we are going to be upset that you're asking to share your link in our chat. That's right. Um, and Eddie says, this looks so familiar. Yeah, right. Uh, peace and blessings to all from Together We Travel. Mm -hmm. And on deck says, we would love to. All hey, right. Come on, that group cruise with us. We're going to have fun. Come be part of it. Avid Fisherman, I would be off the wall guest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie says, hit that like on your way out, y'all. There you go. And Kurt and Marsha see me traveling are up next after us. I've got to go to work. But yes. until tomorrow, we'll see you around the channel. See you around the channel.